Hey guys, Jeff and Matt Kite. And I'm Tucker. And we're here to give you a little overview of the new formerly Fanatic, now Duotone, Sky Edition boards. Yeah, there's quite a few models in this one, uh, but there are some changes that are universal, uh, including the change of their brand name. Yeah. It's always been under the same umbrella. Mm -hmm. They're bringing it all under Duotone just to simplify things. And uh, it looks, of course, cool when your whole quiver just has all the same logos on it and name or whatever, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so that's the first change. You're going to see the Duotone logo on the boards. I'm going to go over some of the uh, basic differences between the board. There's, it's been a, uh, a reshaping, a new design. Uh, here we have last year's model, and here we have the 2024. Uh, notice right away, it's got more of a blunt nose uh, on the board uh, compared to the previous edition. Uh, and what you'll notice, they're both the same volume, so they've kept the same length, actually, at 411. So despite the blunt nose, they're both 411. But on the bottom of the board is where you're going to see a lot of, uh, where they made some changes. Yeah. Uh, on the sides of the board, uh, we have what is called a chine here, where it kind of, it's at an angle, and that's a, a big difference compared to the previous edition that came to an abrupt bottom. Maybe stack it on there and show it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Especially kind of from, yeah, here back. Yep, from here back, we, we don't have any of that chine. It's just come straight to the edge of the board. So that's something that they, they changed, uh, a difference. Another difference is the width of the board. Last year's board was uh, 23.5 centimeters. This one is 24. So it's a little bit wider. And so what that's done is that's where some of the uh, volume is gone. Because again, it's got the blunt nose with the same length, but we have this chine, which has taken off some of that leaders that you would see if, it, if that wasn't there. So it is a little bit wider. Uh, to have this thinner. And a little thinner too, yep. That's Hardly definitely. noticeable, but yes, yeah, that's very, yeah, very, very subtle, uh, but a little thinner. The same volume of 75 liters board. So that's they, they kept the same track box length. I measured it the other day. Uh, they, they kept it in the same position on the board. I did measure that as well. Right. Um, so they didn't make any changes to that. Yeah. Uh, versus and, uh, maybe we should comment the versus the Sky wing boards from last year. We're kind of comparing the TE model, mm -hmm. which is sort of the latest generation of shapes. Uh, that then morphed into the 2024s, but the Sky Wing Boards 2023, the box was a little further back by Correct. about an inch and a half. <clears throat> and this is now like kind of two generations forward in terms of the shape, even though it's only a, a leap of one year since they redesigned the Sky Wing for the TE this past year uh, and kept the Sky Wing the same as 2022. And you're gonna get into that a little bit more, that yeah. team edition, SLS language. Before you do that, obviously very cool design. I mean, the color in the scheme, obviously a little, a little different, like that. They still have the yeah. concave on the top, kind of that concave area where you stand on the board. I would say maybe a little less volume in the nose um, than previous. Yeah, just slightly. Slightly. Uh, little, you know, little uh, concave, yep. you know, recess deck. A little bit of a kick up in the tail just to give you something to push that, off of a on A little your, bit more here foot. versus not quite as flat as yep. the, the other. Locks you in. The other the other but sky board. Style it's one board. of our favorite boards this past year. I know you and I were fighting over it a lot. Yeah. Uh, that 75 liter, 65 liter size. Uh, so this is one we've been really stoked on and obviously really amped to see that kind of team edition shape come into the more affordable, traditional, not traditional, I shouldn't say, but the standard construction, the bamboo construction, rather than the, the carbon uh, high density foam construction. So that's why there's no team name in this one. Yeah, that one now will be just the Sky Style for yep. those sizes. Uh, they also have the Sky Free, which is the larger sizes. Uh, and then getting into the Carbon uh, series, these are Carbon as well, but uh, the Carbon and High Density Foam Sandwich rather than the Carbon Bamboo Sandwich uh, is gonna get into what they call the SLS. So this is kind of the new version of the Team Edition. It is the same shape, same dimensions as the Sky Free, Sky Style, uh, only in that upgraded construction. Obviously, different colorway here, because you got to show everybody you spent the big bucks. Mm -hmm. That you're the premium, bro. Bomb proof. Uh, yeah, it's like the previous. This isn't crazy light. I mean, it's no. light, but as compared to the standard version, about the same weight, but super bomb proof. I mean, like the team was. We treated this one rough yeah. all year for 
over a year. Never we, one, we no, put a lot no of repair. Sessions. Yeah, no Not repair. one repair. No. Yeah, I mean, you can see it, it, we beat this thing up. Yeah. It's, uh, it wasn't treated nice. I don't think we ever well, had a board we, bag we, with we, it. And we played hard and enjoyed it. <clears throat> yeah, never had any kind of repairs. I was jumping on it, slamming down flat. No issues. So same construction here for the SLS uh, to really give you that ultimate durability. If you're out there doing huge jumps, that kind of stuff, you definitely want this kind uh, of construction. Not that you can't jump on the standard construction. I definitely have uh, in years past without any issues, but if you're going huge uh, and, and doing that, it's probably a good idea to have the SLS. It also gives you a little bit more stiffness. Uh, so as you're you know, really throwing along a lot of weight, making those hard maneuvers, you know, the stiffer the board, the better that's gonna translate into the foil and back to your feet. That feedback is just incrementally better. Uh, so this is kind of the cream of the crop in terms of their construction, their boards uh, for the, this year for 2024. With a new Duotone logo. Yeah. And all of it. So formerly Fanatic, obviously they were teamed up already, but they've uh, branded now everything to have their, their boards to say Duotone on there. Again, if you had the team in the past, it's the SLS. Yep. And so that's the, kind of the change in the, in the language, how they did that. We're hoping to, we want to spend some more time. I got a little time uh, on this the other day, but we're going to do a review on these down the road. Yeah, as we yeah, you got more time on them. We dipped our finger into the pot. We tasted yep. a little bit, but we yep. want the full experience before we come with a review. Yep. So this overview hopefully gives you kind of the nuts and bolts of the lineup, as well as some of the changes that they've made. And we'll come back to you with a, a formal review and what we've thought of those changes. Mm -hmm. And did it affect? Yeah. The change? Are they worthwhile? Yep. Did they ruin the? Did they ruin the yep. stew? Or keep something we'll good that's out. already good? <laughs> yeah. Or keep something that's good that's already good. I mean, yeah. Tucker hinted to her. It was one of my go-to boards last year. That 75 liter wrote it all kinds of different conditions yeah. and loved it. Yeah, so. and coming off your first session on it, first impressions, I think you were pretty positive, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my first impressions on the new board was very similar riding characteristic to, to you know, the, the former team yeah. Sky Stylus. Same volume, blunter nose, you know, nothing really standard out, completely different from the, the ride experience right out of the gate. Yeah. But I do want to ride a little bit more because it was very light wind conditions when I was on it. So to give it give a more thorough review if yeah. there is any major changes other Absolutely. than other than the branding and obviously the construction differences where they took the names and changed them but we'll yeah see i'm pretty amped to ride them honestly they look great yeah. and yeah. uh it's kind of board i would use as a daily driver kind of one board quiver even in these kinds of sizes sure. so yeah duotone makes a great product which a lot of our customers are aware of they're they do a good job on their wings and, and all that too. And I know they're, I know we're not talking about it now, but they're going to, they're foils. So also I think are going to, are they coming out with yeah. the Duotone? Yeah, they'll be Duotone yeah. as well. Yeah, versus uh, the Fanatic year. foil. So there were Duotone foils previously, but they're primarily just for kiting. Okay. Uh, whereas the, the bigger stuff, the wing and, and sup and windsurf stuff were all kind of branded Fanatic. But they're bringing that all together, uh, make it all Duotone. That way all your gear looks matchy-matchy. So if you have any questions, hit us up here at Matt Kite. Give us a call. Send us an email, send us a chat. Yeah, be more than happy to help you. in the comment section below. Yeah. We want to know what you think of the colors. I actually really dig them. Yeah. If you're watching this video to the end, let us know. Comment what you think of the colors.